Hello again. In today's video, we will demonstrate how we can set the cookie using the custom created middleware and create our first controller. To do that, let's require the package HTTP soft HTTP cookie. This package provides us the cookie manager, which simplifies the cookie creation. And let's try to utilize that. So first of all, we can create uh, the cookie definition using uh, the DTO object provided by this package. HTTP soft cookie, going to set the name and the value of the cookie. Okay. And we can serialize this cookie into the string, into the header. Uh, by simply casting it into the string. If you will run the server now, we will see that that pretty much works. So it's doing identical thing as it was doing in a previous video. However, uh, we probably don't want to be setting cookies like that all the time. What you want to do, we want to delegate this, the cookie creation to the specific class. In our case, uh, this class provided by the package HTTP soft cookie, uh, and it's called cookie manager. What does this class do? It gives you the set of getters and setters uh, to work with your cookies in a little bit um, easier way. So in this case, we can do the set cookie. Uh, and in addition to that, this class includes method send, which actually doing the kind of similar operation we did manually by adding additional headers to our response. So if you will run our server again, we're going to see the identical behavior. We can remove the cookie, we can refresh, and here we go, cookie is being set again. Uh, why we did that? Well, we did that to demonstrate to you that we can actually move this cookie send, cookie manager send behavior uh, into the middleware. In this case, it's going to be our custom middleware. Uh, and what middleware is going to be doing, it is going to be kind of calling this method uh, on every request and every response within our application automatically for us. So we don't need to invoke cookie manager send every time. Let's create a middleware implementation. In this case, we only need required method process, which receives request, next handler, and, and cast response. Uh, let's pass the cookie manager into this class. So, cookie manager. Here we go. And now let's call the method send of cookie manager inside our process method. Cookie manager, yeah, this cookie manager send. And our response is going to be generated by the next handle. So it's going to be handle our incoming request. We're going to wrap it. And that's pretty much it. We now can remove the cookie manager sent from our road handler, so it's no longer required. It is going to be doing outside of this method inside the middleware. Let's try to run our server and see what is going to happen. And the error is going to happen because I think we have a syntax error inside our script. Here we go, the line 35. Let's fix it. And let's start the server again. We can remove the cookie and it is going to be reset again. So this way, as you can see, we registered the cookie inside our route method without necessarily modifying the response. Why it is useful? Well, let's try to create a controller and explain how we can rely on external services inside the controller methods. So here we go. We're going to create our controller. Uh, we're going to register the controller into the composer auto loading for PSR4. Let's do that. It's going to be up slash and it's going to be located into the root of the project. Okay. 
And now we can point our route to our controller. So here we go. Um, and as an uh, as a constructor argument, uh, we can actually send the cookie manager to our controller. Since this is a simple implementation, we won't be linking custom methods, but we will use default PHP invoke method of the controller and move the code uh, into it. So it's going to be receiving server request interface and providing the response in a form of response interface. Okay. Now we can do a similar thing we've done inside our route method. Let's include our cookie, simplify our code a bit, and uh, this obviously is going to be this cookie manager. Same goes for response. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we declare the property for our cookie manager. And here we go. This is our controller or a summary called action class. We can run this class. Actually, let's remove the previous declaration, of course. We are going to keep the middleware. So we can demonstrate that middlewares keep working outside and inside the route methods. Default controller not found. Um, Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's try to probably move it to additional namespace up controller. Okay. Here we go. So now you can see we still have the code which is doing the cookie set. We can go to our controller and let's say, well, change the cookie. Uh, let's run it again and the cookie is going to change. So here we go. We just demonstrated how to add routing uh, to the controller and middleware in between. Thank you.